Hello everyone, back to today's second video, do a weekend forecast for today's second video. So as always, on a Saturday we have a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. And of course we're starting off with lots of heavy rain across the country at the moment. Really heavy rain, uh, bringing risk of low rise flooding to uh, some areas. Going to keep this rain going. Uh, throughout much of the weekend, and the rain is going to gradually inch its way westwards uh, with time. Next week is looking unsettled. Not the deluge that we've got this weekend, but there will be more rain around uh, next week. And uh, and so I'll talk you through the details of weekend forecast very shortly. Just say that the first video released today was the uh, Gals Webby's October forecast. So we're expecting quite an unsettled month and maybe our second cooler than average month of the year as well. So that's a pretty interesting watch. Have a look at that when you're done with this one. Uh, we're going to be, uh, we'll be out later on with your 10 to 14 day video update. Matt will include all of regular features as well. I should get on with the weekend forecast for you in a second. Just save up the websites we're using for weekend forecast. Again, from the weatherout.com and website.de. You can find links both websites on the links page and in the switch at YouTube of course right so uh, this is how radar picture is currently looking so a great mass of rain uh, across the country really heavy rain in uh, many central and northern areas so most of Scotland is thoroughly wet down into northern down into much of Wales as well so the south was east was there is plenty of rain around too turning a little bit more showery across some of these eastern southeastern areas but generally still uh, quite a bit of rain around in fact rain is turning heavier and more persistent again down across more southern parts of the country. That's going to push north as well through the course of this afternoon. You see, Western Scotland and Northern Ireland tend to be drier through uh, morning. That'll be the case into the afternoon as well, but this rain will slowly push westwards, uh, pivot westwards overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Here today, it's actually pressure chart, so low pressure is well and truly in control of both day right over top of the country, so that's the reason why it is so very, very wet. We are also on the cool side of jet stream, so temperatures are pretty depressed as well. So for the rest of today, we're going to find further outbreaks of rain across many parts of the country, heavy and and persistent rain, torrential rain at times. Uh, pulses of trench rain coming and going. And all the time, that's going to gradually inch its way northwards and, and westwards. But only ever so ever so slowly. So many places are going to stay thoroughly wet all day. Proper washout day coming for large parts of the country. East England and South East England will eventually turn drier through the course of this afternoon. There might even be a few bright or sunny spells coming into East Anglia by the end of the afternoon. And as we've already established, Western Scotland and Northern Ireland should keep uh, quite a bit of dry weather with just showery bursts coming and going uh, through there. But most places have a very, very wet day uh, today, and that will give risk of localised flooding. Certainly flash flooding on the roads is a distinct possibility in some of those heavier and more persistent outbreaks of rain. Temperatures today ranging from around 9 to 13 degrees. That's 48 to 55 Fahrenheit. More like that than temperatures you, that you'd expect at the start of November rather than the start of October. It is very Novemberish, actually, the weather today. Overnight tonight, we keep this rain going across many parts of the country. So again, more soaking rain uh, to come through many sort of central and northern areas. That rain will gradually ease its way in towards Western Scotland and Northern Ireland as well. And things will become drier through eastern parts of England. So Lincolnshire, East Anglia, down south, these things, things will start to turn a little bit drier as well uh, there. It's going to be a windy night uh, in the west. So we've got quite a strong uh, northwesterly wind blowing around that area of low pressure and down the Irish Sea to southwest and also affected parts of northern Ireland. So it'll be quite windy today, actually, but the wind will increase further overnight tonight, coming strong and gusty around those western coasts. In the centre of the low, through central parts of the country, uh, the winds will be a good deal lighter there. Temperatures ranging uh, from around sort of uh, 6 to 12 degrees tonight. So reasonably mild night, really. Um, but of course, it won't feel that mild with the outbreaks of rain and also with those strong winds as well. Tomorrow, the low pressure is still there. Otomi country is beginning to fill out a little bit. But weather front associated with that has pushed into the west. So it will start pretty wet across most parts of the country again on Sunday. That rain will gradually move westwards and to become centred uh, sort of through western Scotland, Northern Ireland. Down the Irish Sea into Wales and South West England. Further persistent and heavy outbreaks of rain lasting throughout most of the day through there. Elsewhere, Central and East areas, and eventually the North too, 
will start to turn uh, a little bit dry, a little bit more showery. So there will still be some heavy outbreaks of rain around, but they'll turn more showery in nature, and there should be some bright sun spells coming through within those, uh, you know, within those um, showery bursts as well. Temperatures tomorrow, again, going to be on the low side, really, for early October, with a range, again, for around 9 to uh, 14 degrees Celsius. Into Monday, that low pressure begins to uh, drift north as we move out in towards the North Sea, and then we start to bring in a brighter, showery westerly wind. So uh, we may still start off with some outbreaks of rain across particularly northern and western areas, but I think they'll tend to turn more showery, if anything, through the course of the day, with brighter skies pushing in from the west. So we may start off with showers across England and Wales, and some of those could be quite heavy, but generally the trend through the course of Monday should be that things turn drier and brighter with, with most of the rain and showers tending to move away into the North Sea and brighter skies following in from the west. With those bright skies, showers are still possible, but it should gradually be turning drier and brighter through the course of Monday. Quite windy with winds in from the uh, west. They're pretty strong. Gusty winds, particularly for more southern parts of the country. And temperatures, again, going to be a little bit on the low side for early October, a little bit below par, with a range around 10 to 15 degrees. 15 is 59 Fahrenheit. Uh, into a showery sort of west northwesterly type flow on Tuesday with low pressure to the north of Scotland. So, again, the brightest, driest weather will be through central and eastern areas with shelter from those west northwest winds. Most of the showers will tend to be in the northwest. There could be a few heavy ones mixed in. And across central on parts of Scotland, still some longer spells of persistent rain possible with that area of low pressure. Uh, winds in from the northwest, so temperatures again going to be a little pegged back a little bit, ranging from around uh, 10 to 16 degrees. 16 is 61 Fahrenheit, probably not too far from average by Tuesday down in the south and um, the southeast in the sunny spell. So, so potential clawing back up close to average through the early part of uh, next week. A bit of a change to Wednesday because we are under a slight transient ridge on Wednesday, but only ahead of this next developing area of low pressure in the Atlantic. So Wednesday could well start off mostly dry with a brighter sunny spell, but there could be missing fog patches around as well. It's likely to be quite chilly with ground frost in the north. Then we'll find cloud and outbreaks of rain beginning to spread back in from off the Atlantic in towards Ireland, Wales and southwest England by the end of Wednesday afternoon. But that leaves many central northern east areas mostly dry. Temperatures might get up to around 16 degrees again in the east at 61 Fahrenheit before the rain arrives. But as that wet and windy weather sets in in the west, then of course temperatures will begin to lower. Now as we go through uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, we start to really develop this area of low pressure. It deepens like mad uh, to west of Ireland, begins to push in to the north and west of the country. Notice the isobars are going tight back, so it becomes very windy potentially. Uh, for northern and western areas on uh, Wednesday night. So Thursday could start with heavy outbreaks of rain in the northwest. I think the rain is likely to be quite light and patchy in the south and southeast, although this is a little way off. Of course, the track of the low pressure is subject to change. But I think in the south and southeast, the rain is likely to be quite light and patchy. Heavy rain in the northwest, but the main story for Thursday morning is going to be the uh, strength of the wind. So all areas will turn windy, but there could be gales or even severe gale force winds uh, during the course of Thursday as this low pressure transfers northwards uh, across Scotland. So, so for Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, there is a risk of gales or severe gales. We might have gusts going up to around 70 miles an hour, maybe in excess of that for Northern and West Parts. This could become a name storm. It might become storm Aidan, but of course it's still a way off, so we have to wait and see, keep an eye on uh, the UK Met and Met Aaron. But in any case, it's going to be a very windy day uh, for central and northern areas in particular on Thursday with outbreaks of rain through central and northern regions. Some of them will be quite heavy. Always the rain will be lighter and patchy in the south and winds are lighter uh, through there. And eventually we're going to find brighter skies with blustery showers following in from the north and from the west. But for northern areas, it's a wild day on Thursday. Temperatures will start to take a little bit of a tumble as well, ranging from around 9 to 4. 14 degrees once again. Heading through to Friday, that area of low pressure is transferring over to Norway and we turn wind into a northwesterly to almost northerly with this ridge beginning to build out in the Atlantic. 
Basically, it means that we start Friday with still quite a bit of rain for northern and eastern parts of Scotland and gale force winds too. All of that should move away into the Norwegian Sea. And then we'd like to turn brighter and drier from the northern west in the course of the day. But there will still be showers around, particularly for northern and eventually eastern parts of the country. Temperatures will begin to lower in the south. We might still get the temperature around 14 or 15 degrees. But in the north, temperatures will be falling away. And across Scotland and Northern Ireland, probably pegged back into single digits digits at best. And then into next weekend, it looks like this area of high pressure will start to move in from the west. That will start to settle things down over weekend, but this is a cold ridge. We have a northerly wind establishing ahead of this ridge. So although the weather should turn mainly dry next weekend, uh, what you are going to notice is the temperatures falling. And so by night, particularly where the skies are clear, I think there will be clear skies with this ridge. It is going to get quite cold. There could be some uh, it could be frost, you know, proper proper air frost in the north. And even down in the south, I think we can expect ground frost uh, next weekend with temperatures by day, despite probably quite a bit of sunshine, uh, pretty low uh, as well. So a bit of a struggle with the temperatures next weekend and actually quite cold. There could be some mist and fog patches around uh, as well, but it will turn drier. Finally, just having a look at charts from the weather outlook. So loads and loads of rain uh, around today. Outbreaks of rain through many parts of the country and more rain to come uh, tomorrow. So so this is a real deluge weekend. By the time you get through to Monday, things will be brightening up. Still showers around. Uh, and Mactins into Tuesday as well. But also will be brighter. Sunny spells. Temperatures eventually getting back close to average in the south anyway by Tuesday. Wednesday, not too bad, but there will be outbreaks of rain coming in from west by the end of the day. And then that turns us more unsettled again as we go through in the second half of the week. Could be gale or severe gale force winds around on Thursday with more outbreaks of rain, especially in the north and west. Then on Friday, we turn drier and brighter, but temperatures begin to uh, become colder. Right, so very active week's weather. In summary, we're starting off with torrential rain, a washout weekend. We're going to keep further unsettled weather going into next week, turning more showery uh, with time. And then we get a spell of gale force winds sometime around Wednesday to Thursday. That's particularly so for the north. There may be severe gale force winds up there, so that's one to watch. And uh, there we go, drier but colder into next weekend. Uh, we're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day uh, video update during all regular features, so come back for that then. For the weekend forecast, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.